Hey, this is Eric, and in this video we're going to look at some Google templates for creating a customized eye chart, as well as lots of ideas for ways students could use this for learning activities. In 1862, the Dutch ophthalmologist Herman Snellen developed an eye chart to help measure a person's vision, which we now call the Snellen chart. At some point you have certainly seen this tool, or in my case, tried to see it as I have always been significantly nearsighted. One area of my life where I try not to be nearsighted is keeping an eye out for creative ideas on using technology in the classroom. Recently, when learning more about the Snellen chart, I thought that it would make for an interesting template for students' learning activities. So let's take a look at how to get your own copy of the template I made, how to use it, and ideas for student activities using this template. First, to get your own copy of the template, go to bit.ly slash Kurtz dash iChart, or you can access the link in the description below this video. There are two versions of the template. One is in Google Slides, and the other is in Google Drawings. They are exactly the same, so feel free to use whichever one you prefer based upon the tool you like to work with. Once you have a copy of the template, you can do whatever you need with it. For example, you could use Google Classroom to push out copies to each student so they can work on their own. As for the layout of the template, it is set up to mimic a Snellen eye chart with the largest letter at the top, and then the letters get progressively smaller on each line below. The lines with the larger letters typically have fewer letters, and the lines with the smaller letters typically have more letters. Also, each line does list the measurement of visual acuity for that line, all the way from 2200 to 2020, and even down to 2010. So let's take a look at how to edit your copy of the iChart template. First, select the letters on any row, and then simply type in your letters to replace them. For the lines with multiple letters, I suggest putting a space in between the letters to help keep them spread out. Typically, the lines with the smaller letters will have more letters, but there's no specific requirement for the number of letters that you use. When you're all done creating your personalized eye chart, you can of course print out the chart as normal, or you can download it by clicking File and then Download and choosing something like PNG to download an image version or PDF to download a PDF version. As with any template, the only limit to its usage is your imagination, so let's take a look at a few ideas for how this template could be used for student learning activities. One idea for the eye chart would be to make it a literal eye chart. By this, what I mean is the students could write about themselves. This could be a great SEL activity where students can list positive qualities about themselves, or it could simply be a getting to know you project at the start of the year with a list of favorite hobbies and activities. Here's an example of one that I made for myself. Another idea for the I chart is to turn it into a who am I chart or a what am I chart. In this case, the student would choose a person, real or fictional, or even an animal or an item or a concept from class, and then they write a description. Other students would then try to figure out who or what is being described in the who am I chart. Here is an example of one that I created. Do you know who I am describing? For another idea, of course, you can always just use the template to simply make a fun poster with a favorite quote. It could be something inspirational or funny or both. Here is an example that I made. And finally, there is no rule that says the eye chart has to have letters. Instead of an eye chart, you could make a pie chart. And that's it. Hopefully you'll find this template helpful and your students will enjoy creating with it. 
I am sure you will come up with other ideas for how to use this, so please consider sharing your thoughts. I would love to learn from you. And for all the rest of my educational technology resources, be sure to visit my site at controlaltachieve.com, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, sign up for my email newsletter, and check out my book, Control Alt Achieve, Rebooting Your Classroom with Creative Google Projects. Thanks so much, and take care.